Somewhere here should be the dipstick. There it is. This is way it. the fuck down there. Oh, yeah. Yep, right here. Should I pull it? Yeah, might as well. Let's see if the shirt's got a little on it. Yeah. <laughs> nice and clean. Yep. Okay. Now, to get it fucking back in there. First shot. First shot. Hey, let's come on. And this is this the, should move. This air filter is fucking huge. Is this unlocked? Oh wow. There you go. So now you can just you can just walk in there and do it. How often will I clean this air filter? Just whenever they service it. Okay. Yeah, so you just raise the hood and unlock this and you can walk right in. Pull the dipstick and yeah, it's easier access for sure, that's cool. See everything to inspect it and all that good stuff. Cool it and everything. Pretty nice. Yeah. You gotta pull these out and you put them in. Oh, okay. And then let it go. And then lock it in. Okay. Alright, so we're that back down and we'll go see what's in the boxes on the ground. Oh. Oh. There's a panel here on the floor. Let's see what's under it. Storage. That's just a storage bin. Oh, okay. Those, cool. we, those wheels that are in there, uh -huh. they will uh, pin onto the side plates so it'll ride on wheels instead of the, the steel. You use those for like when you're grinding on a new, new curb and gutter. If you are afraid like the side plate scraping on it, it's oh. gonna leave marks. So you can pin the wheels onto the side plate. What? And it'll roll on wheels. I did not know that. I never almost, even seen that. I almost never use it, but I've seen them used. Oh, same box. Same box is here. Just oh, get to it this way. Yeah, so these there's holes on the side plate for these pins, <laughs> and then it'll roll on the wheels. Where would that be? What the fuck? They've never used them, then, huh? I'm sure they haven't. Almost nobody does. Yeah. Oh, this is where fuel goes then. Yep. Yep. Okay. And this is your grease point for the leg tube on the front. Never been greased. Okay. So you have to remember Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, this is so inside that, then. Yeah. So that grease is the, the inside of the tube. And then these just, all these grease is this ring and the, the slots for the steering. Okay. It doesn't need the power, so it's basically idling. Yeah. I'm just keeping up. Now, if you gave it throttle, if you went forward more, then it would sense, okay, he wants to go faster, let's ramp up the RPM, right? Yeah, only if he needed it. Only if he needed it, okay. Now, see it got more load? Yeah. Come off of this, it'll throttle back down again. Power. Now, if you hit it in power mode, it would sound like this probably majority of the time, huh? Yeah, it can change it anytime. Now it's in power, but it doesn't need it, so it's not going to change. Okay. It's only going to give it more if it needs it. Okay. That's so crazy that it tells you when the truck is full and it's fucking, it is full. Pretty close, yeah. That's so badass, dude. Because it knows how deep it's cutting and it knows how far it's traveling, so the computer calculates the cutting. Okay.
doesn't need any power, so it's just like... Yeah. Woo! It's coming up. Yep. Back door's catching. Yeah, and then you push the automatic so it can come back down on its own, right? Or... No, as long as you don't turn that off, it'll always slow back down. Oh, okay, okay. If you tap it up, it'll come back down. Oh, okay, okay. But it's when you turn that off, it'll lock, it'll stay up there. Yeah. Okay, stand for it. <coughs> Training day today on a new 120. It's kind of good for me too. I actually haven't run this model yet of the four footer, and I like it. It's identical to the to the newer seven footers, the FIs. So this is an FI model of the 120, and uh, nice machine so far. I really like it. It's nice to have all of my great control features that I'm used to on the seven footer on the 210. Uh, here later, I think they're going to bring their new 210 out, and we're going to I'm going to train their guy here on uh, running the 210 also. So we got basically removing all this asphalt on this big country road. It's more of a frontage road on the freeway here in uh, Flexco. So that's my job today: is teach this guy how to run the machine. Little as you know, I'm teaching myself how to run this machine also, but we'll learn together. So far, so good. Starting 
off with the big machine today. Ran the 120 yesterday for a while. So, not doing too bad for the second day ever running a mill. Slow and steady. But, uh, we're milling this bridge deck and then we're going to mill out the rest of this road down there another 1,100 feet or so. It's a good job to start out on. Nothing too out of the ordinary on this job. Just a regular old mill and fill. A lot to learn on these things. If you've never been on one before. And we'll keep checking in throughout the day and trying to get some coverage of this and what we're doing out here. We had the pulverizer come in and pulverize most of it, but there's some concrete underneath the road. The pulverizer couldn't go through, so they decided just to mill the asphalt off the top. So that's why we're here doing this. Rear steering is a mother to get used to before it, everything seems backwards. But he's getting it slow and steady. because you can't really screw this up. So you take your time, no one's pushing us. Great job to learn on. This is all we did yesterday. See somewhere the pulverizer was and then we took the middle where the concrete is and built the asphalt off. Then we're in Calexico again. Nice weather down here. Big jump. Doing a 
great job.